Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor with FreedomOutpost.com, coming to you about the live press conference today, January 5th, 2016. Pete Santilli has boots on the ground and he is sharing this via live stream to all of the American people. I want to note that you may see pauses in this video. That is because he is live streaming and you have to understand signal is not great out there. The main reason you will also notice that Pete is recording mainstream media while interviews are going on. There is a reason for this. The mainstream media has been caught lying propagandizing, manipulating, and twisting the narrative in order to promote an agenda. This is why you will notice in the first few minutes before the press conference that the eyes are on the mainstream media. And this is how we in independent media make sure to keep them honest. In 2012, the Smith Month Act was repealed. So the mainstream media is allowed to propagandize the American people. They're allowed to flat out lie to you and get away with it. They also receive a lot of funding from the federal government, uh, sources out of the Pentagon, and Big Pharma in order to promote an agenda and twist in which they want a specific narrative to make individuals believe something that is false. I want to thank Mr. Sam Tilly, Ben Time Traveler, and each and every individual independent media that is live on scene to make sure the truth gets told. It is imperative that we get this message out to everyone so that they cannot create a situation where lives will be lost and lives are in danger. With the manipulation of mainstream media and the manipulation and lies that have been told about what is going on at the Malheur Refuge, Occupy Malheur, it has been twisted to the narrative so much so that there has even been a division between the 3%, the militia, the patriots, protesters, constitutionalists, because of massive misinformation that has been put out to the public. I'm working very hard to start uploading some more videos for documentation and proof to where you can see that this is a peaceful protest. This is public property in which all of the public is allowed to be at. This is not an armed standoff. These individuals are no more than camping at a refuge in order to get their point across. Yes, some of them have weapons and they will only be used in self-defense. If there are any shots fired and anything that has come into a, a situation to where it turns violent, it will only be because the federal government has initiated that violence. You can be rest assured that no one over there that is standing for the people's rights, for the people to have their land returned to them, is violent in any manner. They are all peaceful. Men, women, and children are on scene at the refuge. Men, women, and children that are there are there for one purpose, and they are there to restore the rights back to the people that have been so oppressed in Harney County. You need to also understand this is much larger than Harney County and Burns, Oregon. The Bureau of Land Management has been stealing land, destroying private property, killing cattle, putting, setting fires that have burned homes, that have burned buildings, that have burned fences, and terrorizing people across the Union for years. These people in Harney County have been so oppressed by the BLM, by the federal government, some of them fear speaking out. 
Harney County has been taken over by pure communism, and it's not because of the people in Harney County themselves. They have been so oppressed and they are terrified to speak out, to stand up, for fear of losing their own businesses, their own homes, their jobs, and so forth. It is extremely important that you understand and that you realize the people of Harney County need everyone from all across the United States of America to be able to stand up and help them. Just as Christ, when he was bearing the cross, he didn't ask for help to carry his cross, but another man did help him. Somebody else spoke out and told a man in the crowd to help him carry his cross. And that is what the Patriots are doing. We are standing up. We are speaking out for the voiceless. We are speaking out for the oppressed. We are speaking out for those who have been pushed down to where they had no hope. We're help bearing their cross because they're unable to do it alone. It is important for you to also understand there are many people within Harney County, within Burns, Oregon, that are supporting everything that the Patriots are doing, that are supporting the Bundys in this movement. There is popular support for the Bundys for the militia, and for the patriots that are there standing up and speaking out. They're delivering food and different things like that. If they were against it, they wouldn't be doing that. But they are fearful of going in front of the camera and no one can blame them when 60% or approximately 60% of the population relies solely on federal government funds. Over three-fourths of that county is claimed by an unlawful BLM agency. The BLM is not a federal government agency. The BLM is a private corporation. And even if you believe that the BLM is a federal government corporation, they do not have the authority nor the right to control any lands outside of the 10 miles square, nor to subject people to their rules outside of the 10 miles square. Now, where can you find that? You can look up in Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17. It specifically lets you know what the United States is allowed to own that's outside of the 10 miles square. That would be fort, erect, forts, erections, arsenals, and things like of that manner. In other words, what that is saying is basically military bases. Other than that, they're not allowed to own land. If you do not believe that BLM's jurisdiction relies solely within the 10 mile square, you can Google search for U.S. Code 72. Under 4 U.S. Code 72, it specifically states that any of the agencies at the seat of government, which BLM would be one of them, are to remain within inside the District of Columbia. So I just want to say, the American patriot does not follow the path of least resistance, but resists because it's right. In the face of fear, oppression, and tyranny, they stand. Their soul binds them to a duty that cannot be bought or sold. They stand and speak for the voiceless, weak, and oppressed, just as Jesus did. Hey everybody, Pete Santilli here. Just want to let you know, uh, we're about to have a press conference. Ammon Bundy will be coming up. 
and I'll show you the other side is what it looks like. This is the international media here, uh, which is a, a beautiful day uh, for America. I guess when we can get the truth out, uh, depending on how they skew it, of course. But even still, uh, this constitutional crisis and the constitutional issues that are going to be communicated uh, here in front of these uh, cameras, a huge number of cameras, huge number of media uh, being present. Um, and it's going to happen right here. It's a big uh, international media story uh, here in Burns, Oregon. And there's a lot of, uh, lot of information to convey, um, no doubt. And you guys are about to hear from Ann and Bundy here momentarily. So just enjoy some of the, the sights and the, the scenery out here. stare at the side of my head. What's up? They don't get paid to care, they just get paid to take what sells. It's a nice break. Thank you, sir. Be on camera? I don't mind. Oh, okay. He is camera. He's camera guy. <coughs> What's up, Timmy? Not much, man. How, How are, are you? you? Doing well. Hey, dude, I, I called for uh, 100,000 unarmed men and women to come here and stand shoulder to shoulder to make sure uh, this is, there's a safe resolution to this thing, right? Isn't that a good option? I think it's a good option. Yeah, yeah it's great. Even if they have to come all the way from Texas. There's a, are there 100,000 people in Texas? Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Maybe just shy about it. <laughs> so everyone from Texas, everyone get out here. I was just messing with you, dude. Hey. Hey, I was just messing with you. Did you see what I did? I, I bombed your shot. I'm sorry about that. That was just messing you with you. Yo, that was yours, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just messing dude, you with you. For, for independent media guy, right? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yes, oh, so. I get it done. Yeah. I'm live streaming right now. Yeah. It's like the Apple Frank. Isn't that great? I swear. Uh huh. Hey, you know what else? You know what I was doing too? Because the upload speed here is just awful. I had like a one gig file or something like that. It was going to take me like 73 days. I took the live stream because it was an important up upload, and I pointed it at my uh, at my computer screen, and it streamed it up in like two minutes. Yeah, it was great. Hi. Hello. How are you? Not too bad. How about yourself? Good, good. Hey, Deb, can you come stand over here? Okay. Can you stand here and hold this? Okay. Okay. I got this. You got it? Yeah. Good. I'm starting to get like... Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. Uh, believe it or not, there's like a lot of humidity here today. Look at that puppy over there. <laughs> Cooper does that. Um, 
Yeah, there's a lot of humidity in the air today. This is more of a wet okay. kind so of you, feeling you know heavy. Do, My right? hair's all frizzed out. You know what you're going to do? Tell all right? me. I'm, I'm going to go down there, okay? Yeah. And then we're gonna we're gonna make our way. Actually, as soon as he as soon as he starts coming up, okay, yeah, you see a whole bunch of photographers there. We're gonna be taking pictures all the way yeah, up. Yeah, they right? did it yesterday. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow all the way through. All uh -huh. right. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna be with them. All right. Coming all the way up. Uh -huh. I'm gonna grab this. Yeah. And I'm gonna put it on the stick. Yeah. On my stick. Okay. Uh huh. Like this, watch. Maybe you should just do that now. Okay, because I want to get that coming up. Yep. All right, and then you go maintain that position and just lower it down to one knee. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to come up. All right, yeah. it's going to come up to the podium. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then the reason for that is because we're going to be on international media. You yes. understand? Yes. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Do you guys know what? Um, you guys know what Sheol is, right? All of our people out there may know what Sheol is. Well, outside of the cities, outside of yeah, outside of Rome and the city, oh, well, big major cities back in the day, in the day of Jesus, uh, Jerusalem, all those places, but in, in Jerusalem especially, um, when people would pass away, uh, if they didn't have a tomb, they would throw them into a fire pit and burn them outside the city limits outside the city wall and they called it Sheol which is where hell came from that's where the idea of hell and burning forever because these fires they, they would never let them go out um, and, okay, so, and they had to go. remain like super hot so that they could here burn be hot enough to burn bodies let me show you the Sheol of the refuge ready there you go ladies and gentlemen they don't know it, but they're just kind of walking around, kind of like the walking, you know, what do they call them, the walkers? <laughs> but they're just like, I don't know, that's shale, anyway. All the, they just want to consume. It would have been nice if this many people would have showed up when the calls went out that Mr. Hammond was uh, the sheriff to stop what was happening to him. That would have been nice. You know what I've noticed about these guys? They don't like the camera to be on them. Okay, <clears throat> he's on his way up. Look at all these expensive trucks. You know what we found out? We found out that these satellite trucks cost anywhere from four to eight thousand dollars a day to rent. And then they're Satellite time is a hundred dollars an hour. Hundred dollars an hour. And that's why people in independent media cannot uh, compete with that. They get it out, they get the, uh, their false message out faster, quicker. Um, That's how the, the lie uh, gets spread so quickly, because they can afford it.
I don't know if uh, if the left has bust in some people to oppose this. I haven't seen that yet, but which really surprises me. As wide open as this is, I mean, you would think that uh, environmentalists would be out here threatening to uh, do what they do, but uh, I have not seen any of that. So it's pretty interesting. There's no. For the most part, so far, there's been no heckling, and uh, I fully expected that to happen. I guess because they probably think that the, you know, that the people in town are going to be taking care of this, like, town is 30 miles away, but, you know, <coughs> haven't seen any of that happen out here yet, you know, which is rather surprising. Uh, the press corps, you know, they're asking some pretty hard questions, but... The problem is, is they don't ever come up with anything new. They ask the same question over and over again, you know, like it's going to change the next day. You know, mostly they're worried about guns and, you know, things like that. Their big question is how many people you got in there, which they always say we have enough, or we have a million, and whatever. We're also interested in uh, how uh, Bundy is going to react if uh, the government is aggressive and comes in aggressively and tries to forcibly take them off the land. And, uh, you know, they don't answer that question too much. Anyway, I think he put, his, um, he put his statement out there in the very beginning. And if anybody knows anything about the Bundys, which we in alternative media do, and those people who follow it, know that when they make a statement they um, they mean it and they don't and they don't negotiate because uh, as the very famous Clive Bundy would have to say you know, we, uh, the Constitution is not negotiable no, no. So <clears throat> we fully expect that uh, when the press builds their narrative to the point where they believe that they are uh, gaining a popular consensus, a popular support, they will of course turn their attention to the uh, law enforcement uh, side of this and, you know, and then not be so not them be not so nice but at this point what they look for actually is for one person to say something wrong um, everybody's trying to get the scoop so if somebody says something um, that they can twist and turn into like a especially if it's like a racial thing or a gun thing or you know something like that then um, Hey, you know, the one person is looking to find that one thing to say that somebody slips up and okay. says or does. Okay, this is what I want you to do. I need you to follow me. Where are they? Huh? Are they coming up the hill Yeah, they're coming up the hill. I need you to follow me constantly. Please? With Please? this? Yes, absolutely. Oh, wow, okay. Huh? I said, oh, wow, okay. Let's go, right now. Dude, can you watch my gate? Please? Yeah, I got you. Oh. Remember, <laughs> hey, come here. Huh? Remember, I'm not so short-footed as you are. Oh so. my God! Okay, here. Then I want you to hold this. Hey, on a serious note, 
I just want to, I want to let you know, I want to shake your hand. Here's the deal. It, it, it is, it is very important. I mean, I, I clearly established myself as a constitutionalist for everyone's benefit here in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, no, but Article 1, Section 8, Paragraph 17 says that the federal government can't own this land. Yeah, no, that, no that's, I, that's, that's, my, that's, my, that's my personal... The only reason I was having to go at you because you were attacking the report for being biased when you, you fall into the same... That's, yeah. that's why. I said, well, so right, right, but we had that discussion about bias, and I, I yeah. openly admit my bias. Yeah, so you, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But... But I, I, I want to just let you know that I'm, I'm a professional hellraiser, and I, that's exactly what I do, man. Okay. Well, look, you spark a bit of fun around the place. Oh, yeah, know. absolutely. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. It is fun. Find you know what I said to him? I said, what's the matter? I said, I, what? No, I said, what didn't, you, didn't you learn your lesson back in 1776? <laughs> he goes, you had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what I want to know? Who's in charge of putting those Kim Kardashian pictures on the right-hand side of uh, the, the UK <laughs> mail, right? <laughs> huh? Can we please get rid of some of those so we can focus on the news? Seriously, every time I try to, every time you go to that site, I'm like, One of my favorite Hello. sites. One of my favorite sites. But I, I'm always off in the, the corner. Traffic. Huh? That's what gets the traffic. Gets the traffic. It gets me off my freaking game. <laughs> hey, this... You know, the extreme, hardcore, liberal. I mean, here in the United States, it's disgusting. Did you know, on a, on a very serious note, the National Defense Authorization Act of 2012 allows, they repealed the Smith-Munt Act of 1946. Yeah. It allows the U.S. The government to pay, min, they, they pay millions of dollars to propagandize. The yeah. Pentagon can walk up to CNN, pay 10 million bucks, and say, put out these fake news stories. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm totally against that. That's that's not a free press. That's why I'm so anti mainstream media. Yeah, absolutely. And that's yeah. why Yeah, that's why people protest because yeah. you know, oh, everyone's yeah. got a point, everyone's got an issue to raise. Oh yeah. There's nothing wrong with peaceful protest. Yeah, this is a constitutional crisis. Okay? That has been escalated uh, on a very serious note. You know why? You want to know what the core issue is? Cuz the sheriff didn't have the balls to come here and deal with it. Where's the sheriff? Yeah, that's a good question. He could resolve it. He's the highest law enforcement authority in yeah. this county, and he's failed to appear. It's easy no, no, over Maybe you don't want to escalate it. That's the problem. Huh? You don't want to escalate it. No, and, and his, his failure to act and appear and to resolve these issues at the county level, you know what he did? He deferred to the federal government because he was in way over his head. He didn't even yeah. consult with other constitutional attorneys. Uh, so, here we go. Day four. Okay. Actually, you need to get up there. Go, go ahead and get up there. You're not going to want to walk through this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff. I didn't mean to. Okay, well, I'll mean, get back to you. Okay, Grant. Hey, Jeff. Scoot, hurry. Let's go. Hurry. You don't have your cell phone on you, do you? Hurry, huh? You don't have your cell phone on you. Why? Because they said cell phones on silent. Yeah. Let's go. Deb, hurry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me or yeah, you? you? Oh, yeah. Uh, what's she saying? Get out of my way. Here. Right here. Oh, that's right. You want me to hold it. I forgot. You want to take this? Yeah. Don't fall down. Thank you. I didn't even know that would be funny. Here. Might make YouTube's greatest hits if you uh, watch out. <laughs> it might be the most exciting thing that happens. Today. Pretty much. Let's hope so. Yeah, let's hope so. Okay. I like it like this. You know these dogs? That is a little snap them down. It's like a the dog. Two of them. One of them is like the sweetest dog I've ever met. Like he slides down your feet and lets you. Those are um, so ranchers' dogs okay. around here. So they're just hanging they out. They come in on the ranchers' truck, so jump off, and just hang out, looking for food. Them. Look at them. You're so excited about all this. Yeah. Like people, people. people. <laughs> I guess it's all right for me to smile, so <laughs> uh, relax. 
box a little bit. Um, and again, I, I'm grateful that you are here. Uh, I realize the, the great role the media has had in, in uh, defending individual rights and to exposing things that should not be going on and, and uh, in holding government and other entities accountable. And so thank you for being here. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for your courtesy and your respect. And, uh, um, and uh, I'm just grateful that you're here. Um, I'm going to be pretty short today. And I'm going to turn the time over to the wife to come here. But um, I wanted to uh, inform you that there are a lot of good things that are happening. That we have been very active in, uh, in forwarding our plan and in assisting the people of Harney County in claiming and using their rights. Um, we have, uh, we want to thank the, the, the many people from the community that have come through the doors that have given us uh, food and supplies and thank uh, those ranchers that have, have brought us uh, meat and uh, for a particular rancher that bought a very, very good pot of soup that was very needed on a, on a late night and we were very hungry. Um, we also appreciate um, the advice that the community members have given us about how to reach out and how to share a message so that uh, other community members will know that we're not about uh, fear, we're not about force, we're not about intimidation, and that that is the reason why we came here, because uh, because of the force and the intimidation that we have seen in their county, and because of the need that we have seen to assist them in becoming free from that force and intimidation. And so we appreciate that. We, like them, are part of the community. Um, we have children, we have wives that we have left at home. That we miss very much. Uh, and we are a great, and we understand that you also have a community. We have children that we watch play football, that we take to dance. We have neighbors that we help when they're uh, hurt, and we bring food to them when they when they need it. Uh, and we understand what it is to be part of the community, and know that there is no place for intimidation and fear in a community. That it should not be uh, allowed, and that if, if government is being that, tim uh, that <coughs> intimidation, that it needs to be checked and balanced. And if other government entities will not do that, then it becomes the responsibility and duty of the people to remove that intimidation and fear uh, so that the members of the community can begin uh, living and, and living in, in freedom. Um, we do have a plan, uh, as we have stated from the beginning, and we are uh, going to work and we are implementing this plan. We have been in communication closely with many, many community members that are assisting us in that. And we see a time coming very soon where the community will begin to uh, uh, participate more in that and then begin to take that over and so that they can claim their own rights so that they can begin using them and, uh, and then they can stand strong enough to defend them themselves. And then we will go home. Um, it is our goal to get the logger back to logging, to get the rancher back to ranching, to get the miner back to mining, the farmer back to farming, and to jumpstart this economy in Harney County so that they can restaurants full of people that can Hey, Ammon, yeah. have you spoken to the sheriff? Ammon, have you spoken to the sheriff? Can I ask you just a quick question? Has the government turned the heat off? Has the government turned the heat off? Has the government turned the heat off?
right? Yeah, no, I am. I. Has the, do you know if they turned off the? Because they're saying they're going to shut the power. I haven't heard that. Heard, okay. But uh, you know what? We heard that. They I were sense gonna... a little bit of. You know, I can't stay too connected to them because yeah. I have right. remained outside. Right. I think. I don't know. I'm really concerned. Yeah, I'm concerned, and I, I think they're a little bit concerned right now too. Sarah, yeah. could you stand up? Right? I'm sorry. Could you stand up? No, careful. Uh huh. No, Thank you. Hey, nice to meet you. No, nothing. No, no, Are you aware of the, why they school shut the schools down? Well, we we've been trying to fix that, so we don't. They said. I was told by a local firefighter, and I confirmed that the some of the schools have been commandeered. Yeah, one of them definitely the high school. I've seen it. Oh, you did. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah staging as a staging area. Uh, the the community's pissed off about it because um, moms have to stay home. The one common thing, the one thing in common is this: they express fear that the federal government will do to the vessel and being prepared to is back into the hill plan. And we're working on the specifics with the team. How much group. federal Can land, I, sir, I, do I you want to run? Off, it, uh, no, it, it, it's warm. We're grateful. Now, if they cut it off, that would be such a crying shame. All the pipes will freeze and, you know, it'd be destructive. No need for that, but, uh, uh, yes. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look. What is the state's responsibility? The state's responsibility is to intercede between a overreaching federal government, which did, I don't know. You said that you were with you. It's the community are with you, as you say. Where are they? Why are they not here with you in the They're down there. How many? How many? There, there are several ranches down there. And every night they come here, but they don't many, stay because they're. Why, why don't you have them come stay? They, they stay at their homes. It's close. I wouldn't stay here if I had a. So have they been told to stay home? Are they cowering in fear in Burns, uh, per the residents that I've spoken to? They've been told to stay at home because they're they should be fearful. Is no, that no? I this this to is open militia. I've never been part of militia. I don't intend to be part of militia. I am just a rancher, but but uh, so we are here to be peaceful, to be non-threatening, to we're citizens. This is America, you guys. This is America. This is freedom. We're neighbors. How do you accomplish your plan from Harney County? Are we talking about tens of thousands, millions of acres? Let, 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 let's take over one million acres. Let's take over one third of the land mass of the United States. Let's take over one third of the land mass of the United States. Let's take over one third of the land mass of the United States. Now, I talked about this yesterday, didn't I? Okay? And it's gone clear to the Supreme Court that over this one third of land mass that they have complete, exclusive legislative power whatsoever. That is not a republic. Okay? So these federal, these public lands, and they are public lands, they are not federal public lands. They are Harney County public lands. They are Oregon public lands. They belong to the people of the states and the citizens of the state. They can manage it much better. 140 acres of land, of brush, that is nothing. And they are... So unwind all these transactions. The transactions. Oh, okay. the here. They, we have been talking with them every night here that are grateful. What is terrorism? What is the terror? Has it not been the Hammond family? Has, and who is the citizens? Thank you very much. You Thank you, sir. Can you say and spell your name? Can we get your name? LaVoy Finnica. And how do you spell that? L-A, capital V, O-Y, F-I-N-I-C-U-M. Mr. Finnicum, do you believe that? Yes. How far back historically? The first thing you look at is who is upon the land. The person who's off on the land has three things to have property rights. Claim it, use it, defend it. Those who are currently upon the land has defended it. That is the first and most important, or that is the most important thing. You must be willing to defend your rights. So we protect those who have done that. And then you go back anywhere there's myriads and myriads of transactions that have transferred over time this land into the federal government here. So on similar parcels where Native American tribes claim um, like original use and defense? Those who are upon the land who have defended and own it, they need to be protected first. You must own, you must control, you must claim, you must defend. Do, do, you, think, do you think that... Do you think that... 
to, uh, to exchange land And guess what? They weren't signing their mandatory terms and conditions with the BLM. Look this up. Research it. I think 2002. In comes the BLM. Right. Do you want them to return all 30% or a third of the land they own? I, 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 I'll talk again but, but John, you got this? Is it all of it you want them to return? Castle B, O-Y. Castle B, O-Y, F-I-N-I-C. Castle B, O-Y, F-I-N-I-C. Castle B, O-Y, F-I-N-I-C. Okay. Watch your back, John. Watch your back, John. Lavoy, thank you for what you're doing. And I have other ranchers on the other side of me in my same community saying, Lavoy, quit it, don't do it. You know why they're saying? They say, Lavoy, if you do this, the federal government will take our ranches too. So, so what do you say to the people who live so, here, though? So, so, so this people. is not I'm just, this just, this just, is not just for Harney County. This is not just for Harney County. I talk to all those ranchers in Utah that are under pressure. They're losing their ranchers. So if we succeed in defending the ranchers, the farmers, the hunters, the campers in Harney Start County, then those in Utah, Start those in Arizona, those in Nevada have a greater chance. What about the regular families who live right here? How are you, sir? How are you, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're inside? Thank you, sir. Hey. Can you do interviews? Please. Yes, sir. Are you prepared to be here for months and months if necessary? This is what I say. I would like to go home as soon as possible, but we shall stay here as long as necessary. Okay. Again, we leave when when the, the ranchers are safe on their ranches. When the access of the hunters and campers have a nobody here except us. It was empty. It was vacant. So that, that's the misinformation that gets out. Sensational. That's Deborah, I'm going to make it. Makes a great story. The doors were open. Deborah. You know. Keys to everything, so nothing was broken. Nothing Deborah, happened. these these resources are Harney County resources. It's very important right. that we protect them, keep them safe, so, because Harney County is going to take possession of these resources. So the land should, should the land be given to people who are here first? I, I think I can't explain that. Another question. So if, how, how do you determine how do you determine when the people are safe on their on their land? Okay. When I rode with my friend Clyde and Billy, I was one of those cowboys down under there. And who was pointing guns at me? The feds were pointing guns at me. Who said they were going to kill somebody? They were going to kill me. Okay, and then when I got out of that, our illustrious leader, Harry Reid, says, I am a domestic terrorist. Under, under that statute, as a domestic terrorist, uh, I think they could do whatever they want to me. I think I'm, I'm, I've already crossed that bridge. Deborah. Yes, you don't worry so about how, how, how do you determine when you've accomplished your goal, when people are safe on their lands, as you say? How, how will you know when it's time to go home? You, you see the cows grazing. Okay. And how long can this will this process need to take? Hmm? What, 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 well, the, the more that the the, 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 the county teams get together and do this and are doing this and they feel safe, the quicker we leave. How long do you think that could be? Um, there's rumors that the power might be shut down. There could be a chance of some... Oh, there, there, there are lots of rumors. I don't know how many rumors have been said that SWAT's on its way, they're coming in here to kill you. You know, it would be a silly thing for anybody, for them. The federal government has complete ability to come here in a moment and just wipe us all out. Let's make no mistake about it. The, the federal government has great resources and great abilities there's no illusion of who is, is most powerful here. This is America. Our military force, our forces are, are top notch. We are just citizens. So. We, we can see cattle grazing here? now. How do you know when your goal? Can you be more specific about how you know you, you, when you're your goal? There's a title. There are boundaries. There are borders. My ranch has borders, it has boundaries. My cows are upon it. It's not, not hard. So, it's so, uh, so if the buildings are Harney <laughs> County, then the county sheriff is the one telling you guys to leave. What? I have what, answered that already. So should they just get rid of grazing fees? Would that be? Oh, well, let me explain to you what I have done, okay? All right, I'm down in Arizona, I'm a rancher. Right. And so, so a federal bureaucrat can tell me, Mr. Finicum, you cannot turn in here on this, this pasture. And this is a, a live example, real example. I have one pasture, probably, four or five thousand acres, you know, lots of grass. I have never in six years, 
six years, grazed the single head of my cows down there because the only source of water is a reservoir that collects rainwater. Mm -hmm. Best year ever in feed, okay? The reservoir's full. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna turn in my cows early. That bureaucrat says, no, you may not turn your cow in early on that grass because remember, I'm the federal government, we own the grass. So I write a simple letter to the Solicitor General of the United States and I say, dear sir, I hereby cancel all crown tracks between me and the BLM and I turn my cows out for the first time in six years. They eat the grass that I have paid for, I have bought, I have purchased, I have deed to, and my cows are fat, they're, they're happy. And so, so there is the perfect example of that. Now remember, it's, it's, it's my understanding that the federal government owns so much land in the West because in the 1800s the government was afraid of a timber shortage if it was all privatized. You know, we've already, we've already kind of covered that. Can I we can ask cover you about the schools. A lot of people are frustrated, obviously. The schools are closed and kids are out of school. Do you think that's a necessary move by okay. the government? Okay, let's take a look. No, I said, see, look out there. How many miles is it from here to, to Burns, Oregon? Can anybody tell me I'm new to here? It's like 30. 35 miles. Man, that's a, I can't even see it. You know, I can't even see that here. One of the nice things about where we're at is that we're removed from population, from people, to, to try to keep people from being worried, concerned. We want people to be safe. We, we're, we're neighbors. We want to be neighbors. Um, please, please don't. So, so what are you?